product to your online store. So once you've logged in and you're in your dashboard, you need to navigate on the left hand side here down to products and click on that link. That's going to bring you into all the products that have already been uploaded um, into the online shop so far. Next thing you're going to do is click on up here, add new. First thing you're going to do is you're going to add your product name. So we'll put this in as a Bridgestone oops, Tire. In this section here is where you put your description of the product. If you have a spec sheet or anything like that, it's in a PDF. You can copy and paste it all in here. I probably think the more information that you have on most of your products, the better it is. Um, so we will just put in here that this is a description of the tire just so that you can see where that will come through on the front end. Then we scroll down into the section with the product data. You leave it on a simple product because it is a simple product. It's just the one product. It doesn't have any different sizing or variables to it. You need to add the price, the regular price in there. So just say this one's $325. We go and add that there. If you wanted to add a sales price in there, the simple thing is add the sales price. Just say you were going to sell them for $100 less, you would add that. You can also schedule that. So just say you want that on just for a week. You would do the sales dates as the from date, which is the start date that you would like it to go on sale. So just say you want to do next week, the 15th on Monday, and you want it to finish on the Nine, oops, sorry, on Friday the 18th. So you want it only for a short amount of time. You'd put that in there. Once you publish this, it will actually select and put it on sale for that time frame. Um, we won't do that at the moment because you don't really want to have that in there. The next section you want to go to is just down here, you've got a little navigation bar. You want to click on inventory. If you have an SKU number, put it in here um, for that product. Manage stock, click on enable stock management at products level and add what stock you have on hand. So if you have 50 of these tires, you would put 50 in there. Allow back orders. Now I know that it's pick up only with you guys at the moment. Um, so you can you can choose to allow or do not allow. To um, allow you can, sorry, to do not allow, you simply just leave it as the default if you want to allow. You'd click on allow but notify customer. I would always suggest that you collect you select that one so that it does actually let the customer know that yes, they can order this product, they can still pay for it, but they um, have to wait a little bit longer. Your low threshold, select what you want to be notified for. So that's basically how low your inventory is after the stock has gone right down that you would like to be notified via email that you've only got five or you've got two left, whatever you want to pick that if you're doing it in multiples of two and people usually, because it's pretty hard to ride a bike with one tire on, um, probably do it at your even numbers. You just select whatever it is that you want to be um, notified at via email. The next section is your shipping section. Now at the moment I know that you guys are doing pretty much like a click and collect. They will pay order online, pay and come in and pick it up. If they were to get this shipped or if you would like to tell, um, show them the dimensions and the weight of those tires, you would pop the weight in here in kilos. So if it's at grams, you need to start it at zero point and then just say it's 125 grams. You don't need to put the G or the KG after it. And of course, of course the dimensions in centimeters, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, length, width, height. That's all you need to do. Shipping class, you don't need to worry about that at any point in time. The next section we need to go to is on the right hand panel here. The very first one you want to do is you want to set your product image in here. So you simply just click on the set, select, set product image link. And from the images that you are resized in Canva and you named and downloaded them into your file or onto your desktop, I'd probably put them in files just to let you know that's probably a good trick because once you start doing a lot of tires, 
they're probably going to all look all the same so I would probably name folders and put them in there but totally up to you you click on the upload files button over here on the left hand side then in the middle here select files click that button select that actual file um, that actual image or images if there's more than one image for the uh, the actual um, this product you need to just select them all so just say we've got three images you would select three of those images for this actual product then you would click on the open button I'm just going to select one because they have nothing to do with tires that's going to upload the image for you when it finally uploads we'll just get rid of that for the time being oh, there we go I will delete that quickly I'm going to select one that's already been uploaded in here previously so when you select it over on the right hand side here it has a blue button set like set product image you simply just click that button brings the image in there if you have any um, extra product images sorry extra images for this product you simply just repeat that exact same process up here add product gallery images if you'd like to select them all at once you can do it one by one like you can select the next one click on add to gallery then go back into that link or you can click on the first one you would like in your gallery that's not the actual feature image that you've already selected press down the shift key and just keep on clicking on all the ones that you want to go into this product and then click add to gallery it's just a little shortcut makes it a little bit time um, time um, time consuming if you're doing one by one but totally up to you the next section you're going to go up to is the product category in here you need to select a couple of things so for this product we have called it a Bridgestone tire so one we need to select shop all it needs to go into the shop all section the second thing you need to do is select the brand of the product that's very important so whether it's Bridgestone, Pirelli, um, Kendall whatever the brand is if you can't find the brand in here that hasn't been added you simply just click on the add new category button type it in if it's a Kendall I think that's how you spell it and then go add new calorie category sorry a new category that's going to actually add it as you can see it's added it and it's put a tick in there so this one isn't so we're going to actually click on Bridgestone and then what is the what is it so what category does it need to go into if it's a tire simply it needs to go into tires if it's a motorbike it needs to go into a, as a motorbike if you can't see the actual category that it needs to go into i.e. Uh, motorbikes, tires, accessories, um, whatever category you want to call it, you need to just add it in there so it's ticked. And I will show you why when we get onto the front end after we've actually published this um, this product. Once you've actually selected everything that you want to select and you want the categories for it to go into, you click on. If you scroll back up under publish here, you click on publish this is going to publish this and this is going to be live to the world once it's published to view the product you simply click on the view product link here now I'm going to quickly link, oops, click on this as you can see we can see the product here Bridgestone tire click on the drop down and you can see that I've popped a little description in here that's for all the customers to be able to see now to be able to view this product in your shop click on shop tires and when you scroll down you see all the products that have been entered so far in here on the left and there you can see the new one that's been entered on the left hand side here you can see all the different categories so it's got shop or Bridgestone Pirelli tires and that will take you into each of those sections so basically what it will do is it'll sort them for people so when you click on one thing it's going to sort it all over here because these are all tires it's going to just click when I click on that it's going to select all of those ones so that just gives you a um, an idea of how the process works and how it starts looking on the front end so it is quite important to make sure that you've got them in the right categories because if somebody is looking for Bridgestone tires at least they know oh sweet I can just 
click on Bridgestone and they can see everything that you've got in stock. Or if they just want to see the whole range of your tyres, they click on tyres and all the tyres will be there. So that's how you actually add a product and you see what it looks like on the front end.